purported resignation of Mr. Williams and by extension that of Dr. Tufton has been adjudicated to be unconstitutional, unconstitutional, unlawful against the public interest and accordingly null and void. Mr. Williams and Dr. Tufton are still members of the Senate and are entitled to take their seats. Regarding the status of Mr. Reed and Dr. Clark, the court did not specifically address the purported appointments of either Mr. Royal Reed or Dr. Nigel Clark to the Senate, which were made on the unfounded basis that Senators Arthur Williams and Christopher Tufton had resigned and left two seats vacant. The Constitution of Jamaica allows for only 21 senators, not 23. The leader of the opposition may only advise the Governor General to appoint eight persons as senators, not 10. And it follows that any appointment beyond the allowed eight must be unconstitutional. His Excellency Governor General relied on the leader of the opposition's assertions that the senators Williams and Tufton had resigned. The court has declared that the procurement of the pre-signed pre undated letters of resignation is inconsistent with the con Constitution, unlawful, and null and void. Having regard to Jamaica's constitutional arrangement, His Excellency would be under no duty to investigate and contradict the leader of the opposition. Indeed, if he did so, it might have seemed awkward, if not inappropriate, to the leader of the opposition and to any student of constitutional law. The full court, consisting of three Supreme Justices, gave a declaratory judgment in this matter, as was prayed for by the claimant. There has been some argument in the public space by some who will seek to diminish the significance and solemnity of this form of a remedy. A declaratory judgment is a binding adjudication that establishes the right of and other legal relations of parties without providing for or ordering enforcement. Declaratory judgment is a binding adjudication that establishes rights of and other legal relations of parties without providing for or ordering enforcement. Particularly when the declarations relate to constitutional matters or concern constitutional officers or institutions. It is expected that they will be complied with. In this case, the court did not go as far as to declare that Senator Williams and Senator Tufton are still holders of their seats in the Senate. But the following inferences may be made from the judgment. If the pre-signed and undated letters of resignation and letters of authorization are null and void, then Senator Williams and Senator Tufton did not resign. In those circumstances, they remained members of the Senate and no vacancy was created. 